Hey, welcome to Polish with Ray. I'm Rachel and today I'm going to be sharing with you my spring nail polish rack for 2024. Before we get started, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to see what I'm hoping to get on my nails this spring. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do so you don't miss out on future videos. So as per usual, I have a massive seasonal rack. <laughs> if you're not new to my channel, you already know I love wearing polish seasonally. It just helps me make sure that I'm giving love to all the polish in my collection and it just gets me more excited for the upcoming season. I've pulled, I think, about 60 or 70 shades that I'd love to see myself wear this spring. I probably won't get around to all of them, but I'm hoping to get around to a decent amount. Last season for winter, I think I pulled about 60 shades and I ended up wearing about 40 of them. So fingers crossed to get around to that many this season. I certainly am motivated. Like I'm looking at my rack and it is gorgeous. This season I was definitely, as usual, tempted to pull like a rainbow of colors. I just find that so satisfying to see on my rack, like beautiful, light, creamy rainbows. <laughs> and I feel like I always, with spring it's kind of just like summer light edition <laughs> like they're not bold super punchy colors that i tend to wear in summertime they're not extremely saturated but they're pretty much summer colors with just like a little bit of white in them <laughs> i love brights pastels aren't necessarily my favorite and so um you'll find a few of those on my rack but it's a lot of a lot of bright colors and they make me so happy so we're gonna check out up close bottle shots for all of my picks as well as what they look like on a swatch wheel if any of these polishes are still available i will link them down in the description box so you can shop and any beyond polish links are affiliate links i have a beyond polish code if you use code ray r-a-e at checkout you'll get 10 percent off of your order all right so we certainly have a lot to look at today so let's go ahead and get into the polishes. So before we get into what is on my rack, I thought I'd share with you what's currently on my nails. I'm wearing this adorable white Crowley from KB Shimmer called Spring Theory. So I really only have one red on my rack this season, if you'd even call it a red. It comes from Bluebird Lacquer and it is this one. <laughs> I describe it as being a corally red base with an intense, super shiny shifting shimmer that shifts red to copper to gold to green and scattered hollow flakes. Shattered hollow flakes, I guess. Here's what it looks like built up in a couple coats, and I'm not usually super fond of corals on myself, um, but this one just looks so, so pretty, and I know it's going to be gorgeous in the sun. This one will be a rewear from me. It comes from Bees Knees Lacquer and it is Light Singer. This one has a lighter orange base and a glowy shimmer that shifts copper to gold to green. Here's what it looks like built up in three coats. It's pretty sheer and I remember last time I wore it, I considered de-stashing it because it was so sheer, but I like sheer polishes more now than I used to um, and I could always layer it over something else, so we'll see. Morgan Taylor did send their spring collection to me in PR, so I have their spring collection on my rack this season. This shade is called Lace Be Honest. Honestly, this is kind of a weird pick for me for spring. It's kind of like a beige leaning orange. It's very faded, it's very muted, and not something I would typically reach for. It did have a beautiful formula though. Um, just yeah it's definitely an unusual color one that i'm not sure is super flattering on myself but we'll see <laughs> and this next shade is also part of their spring collection it's kind of close um it is called sunny days ahead this one has a little bit more of a brighter lighter feel it's kind of orange cream sickly and it is a super soft light orange Here's what it looks like built up in just two coats and it almost leans a little bit yellow, especially when you put it next to those more saturated orange shades. From the brand Polish, we have Clockmaker. This one has a pale yellow base and it is packed with gorgeous gold flakies. I actually almost wore this one as my current manicure because oh, I just can't wait to wear it. I've had it for a couple years now. I can't believe I've not put it on because I love this finish from Polish, who doesn't? Another one I'd like to rewear this season comes from Bluebird Lacquer and it's called This Is Hawkward. This one is kind of like a slightly green leaning yellow shattered hollow. 
this whole collection like blew me away. I could have picked any of them, but I felt like I didn't have enough yellows on my rack. So I went with this one. One I have that's untried from Essie is this is, oh no, your sensational. This is like a pastel chartreuse. It came out in last year's spring collection. Very interesting color on this one. It definitely drew me in and it had a beautiful formula too. From Morgan Taylor's spring collection, we have Freshly Cut. This is another kind of unusual pick for spring in my opinion. It's like a slightly pastel olive. It's coming off a little bit more green than it does in real life. In real life, it leans a little bit more brown. Again, it just had a wonderful formula. It was fully opaque and two easy coats. One I've been meaning to get around to for years from Kathleen and Company is Cherry Blossoms. This one has a beautiful, cool green base. It's kind of like a jelly base and a strong shimmer that shifts red to copper to gold to green and scattered hollow flakes. My favorite finish. <laughs> In person, this one was considerably more sheer than I anticipated. And I think that's why I have not worn it yet, but I've got to get it on my nails this season. It's just too pretty. Another Bee Zings lacquer I'd like to rewear this season is called It's Capitalism, Baby. This one has a cool toned green base with strong shifting shimmer that shifts copper to gold to green. Even though this one is also pretty sheer, the glow that the shimmer gives just, oh my gosh, I don't know. And the, the base is pretty saturated despite it having a sheer look. I remember loving this when I swatched it. The next one you probably already guessed comes from Nailed It. Anytime I see these bold flakies, I'm like, mm, is that a Nailed It? Yes, it is. <laughs> this one is Nailed It Party Like a Papaya. It has a slightly warmer but still cool green base, and it's packed with all sorts of gorgeous shifting flakes. Here's what it looks like built up in three coats, and I just already know I'm going to love this. It could be a summer polish, but like I said, I'm just feeling the more saturated colors this season. This next one I can't get my mind off of. It comes from Polished for Days and it's called Sweet Clover. It has a cool mid-toned green base, lots of beautiful iridescent flakies and holographic flakes too. Polished for Days just does these flaky formulas so perfectly. Like they somehow manage to make them just melt into the base. It looks so cohesive. Another untried Essie I'd like to wear is Grass Never Greener. This one has a mid-toned green cream, and again, it kind of gives a summery feel, but it's just a little bit lighter and less saturated than what I tend to go for in the summer, so I thought it'd be a great one to transition from spring into summer. The formula on this was absolute perfection. It was almost a one-coater. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful color. Next, we have another Essie. This was actually the manicure I just took off, so I've already worn it. It's called It's High Time. This one's kind of like a turquoise leaning green cream. I wore this manicure spoiler. I wore it for four days and it wore very well on me and it was such a gorgeous color. I didn't get tired of it. <laughs> I would have kept it on longer if it hadn't chipped, um, but yeah, that I love this polish. And kind of close in base color is this untried from polish called Elderflower Tonic. It also has a turquoisey green leaning base with a shimmer that shifts red to copper to gold to green. Look how glowy. And it's got holographic flakes. I actually got quite a few polishes from this collection from Polish a few years ago. And I've de-stashed most of them because they were a little bit patchy. This one looks amazing on the swatch wheel, so fingers crossed. And moving on to our kind of blue turquoise colors. This one is different dimension as long as the stars are above you. It has like a robin egg turquoise base and it's packed with holographic micro glitter. This one's been on multiple seasonal racks so I really hope I get around to wearing it this season. I think I'm hesitant because there's so much glitter. I think it's going to be a pain to, to remove um, but I just need to layer it over something. Next is an untried bees knees lacquer. This one is Jirin. I'm not sure. It has a turquoise base and strong large particle shifting shimmer that shifts red to copper to gold to green. Like, oh my gosh, look at that glow. Here's what it looks like built up and it is also on the sheer side. I might layer it or maybe I'll love it by itself. I don't know, we'll have to see. <laughs> The next few blues definitely feel more summer to me, but I can't help that I'm feeling them right now. This one is Polish 
whole new world. It has like a borderline aqua blue base and just such beautiful shifting flakes, pink, gold, green, you name it. The shifts are there and they just feel very glass-like. Here's what it looks like in three coats. And I don't know, there's just something really unique to me. The way that the flakes sit in the base, it just feels very squishy and oceanic. From Bluebird Lacquer, we have Rollin' With My Chromies. This one's another like sky blue kind of aqua-y base with large particle shifting shimmer that shifts red to copper to gold to green. Oh my gosh, like I can't take my eyes off of this bottle. Here's what it looks like built up in a couple coats gorgeous formula and just so shiny like it almost has a multi-chrome effect with the amount of shine you get from this polish from the brand polish we have sleeping atomica atacama atacama this one also has a kind of sky blue base with large particle shifting shimmer that shifts green to gold and tiny holographic particles so dainty this one's another one that i have in mind to this one's another one that I have in mind to transition me from spring into summer, like this polish in May. Yes. <laughs> Next, we have one from Wildflower Lacquer. This is Lord of the Mountain. If you watched my recent haul video, you saw this one there and you saw that I got it for $2. So don't want to brag, but like, I feel like I've got to brag about that. <laughs> Um, but it has a beautiful blue base and just such glowy pink shimmer. It shifts as well, but the pink is what really gets me. So here's what that one looks like built up. And the shimmer is really fine and just, oh my gosh, just glowy. I, d I don't know how else to describe it. This next pick feels a little bit out of place. It is Olive Ave Polish Raindrop. This one has a darker, warmer blue base and then holographic micro glitter. Originally, this did release in a spring collection, so I keep wanting to put it on my spring rack. But by the time we get to April, I want to wear brighter colors. I don't want to wear shades like this. So I'm going to try to wear this in the next couple weeks. Otherwise, it might have to wait until fall. It did seem to have a great formula, but yeah, doesn't it just look so dark compared to all the other blues? Like, I'm just not reaching for it, but I might. I'm going to make myself probably <laughs> over the next few weeks. This next one is from Dom Nail Polish, and it's called GTFO My Uterus. This one has a blue base. It's like... I don't know. In the in the bottle, it looks darker, um, but you'll see once it's on the swatch wheel, it does look a little bit more like a um, an aqua blue base. Um, but anyway, it's got lots and lots of gorgeous shifting shimmer. Sorry, I was out of focus. Lots of pretty shifting shimmer on this one. Here's what it looks like built up, and you mostly get a copper glow, but at certain angles, you can see red and gold too. Moving on to some cooler toned blues. This one is from China Glaze and it is Glamletics. This one has almost a periwinkle blue base and the most subtle fine shimmer that shifts purple to pink. The shimmer so does not come through on the nails, which is a dang shame. <laughs> like I can see it at extreme angles if I'm really looking for it. <laughs> But regardless, it is a pretty color. The next one is loved in my collection. It's from Essie and it is Bikini Sotini. Disregard the dinged up nail wheel, but this one just has a perfect formula. I've got the paddle brush in mine and it is a two coater. It's just such a pretty color. Yeah, I love Bikini Sotini. Another one from the Morgan Taylor Spring Collection is Sweet Morning Breeze. This one has kind of a gray base, which is interesting, and a glowy blue shimmer that I think is just blue. <laughs> Maybe like an aqua blue to more of a cobalt blue. Unfortunately, I was really surprised that the shimmer didn't show up hardly at all on this one because it certainly glows in the bottle. Um, yeah, I don't know. It looks also less gray and more blue on the nail wheel than it did in the bottle, so I'm just kind of confused. This next one is from Moon Cat, and it is Wish I Hadn't Cried So Much. This one has a light kind of baby blue base, and it's packed with all of these, to me, just like Easter grass colored flakies. <laughs> Here's what it looks like built up in three coats. It is quite sheer. I wouldn't be surprised to see myself try the Morgan Taylor as a full manicure and then layer the Moon Cat over it. We'll see though. 
Another one from the brand Polish. Lots of polish on my rack this season. I have a lot of untried polish. That's probably why. Um, but this one is called Evermore. It has a purple leaning blue base or maybe a blue leaning purple base. And then large particle shimmer that shifts red to copper to gold to green. I got this one in the For the Love of Polish box, mostly to get the Polished for Day Sweet Clover we looked at earlier. And I wasn't expecting to de-stash this one immediately, but once I saw it in person, I was pretty excited. I think it's a beautiful color. Moving on to purples now. This one is from KB Shimmer and it is called I Just Wanna Fly. I think this is a past PPU shade, but it's a light lavender base with shifting shimmer that's mostly gold and green. This one has a great formula and it's one that I just keep thinking of for some reason. Like I thought of it in winter, like, oh man, I really wanna wear that. I think I thought of it last summer, so I'm gonna wear it this season for sure. Next we have one from Noodles Nail Polish. This one is Hydrogen in the Sky. This has a slightly darker mid-toned purple base packed with iridescent flakies and they are so shiny in person The camera is not doing them justice and then silver Micro glitter. I don't think it's holographic, but it might be this one dries down quite a bit darker on the swatch wheel than it did Appear in the bottle. Um, so that kind of threw me off, but it's still a really beautiful shade this next one is from Swamp Gloss and it's called the Orion. So it has a very soft light purple base and it's got hex glitters and micro glitters that are hot pink and light blue. I suspect my bottle of this has faded a little bit because it is quite a bit more sheer um, and less opaque than I remember it being. It's still really pretty, but I might end up layering it over a cream. This next pick is from Rogue Lacquer and it is called Climbing Hydrangea. This one has a soft muted light purple base and such pretty metallic flakes. I think I see blue, purple, and rose gold in there. Here's what it looks like built up in three coats and the combination of the sheer-ish base but the density of the flakies to me just gives this one a very like fancy feel. <laughs> um, I think it's the shine of the flakes and the rose gold. It just feels very garden party for some reason <laughs> and the pretty purple cream beside it comes from Cirque Colors and it's called A Fiori. This one is just a super simple light purple cream and it's such a gorgeous color. Even though my bottle has the skinny brush, application was effortless for this. It was fully opaque and just two coats. By the way, if any of these polishes are still available, I'll link them down in the description box. This next one, I am a little bit unsure why I decided to add it to this rack. Um, it's from Alchemy Lacquers and it's called Party On. It has like a mid to dark purple base and then it's got blue metallic flakes and this fiery shimmer that shifts red to copper to gold. Like it's a beautiful polish, but looking at it now, I'm like, I do not see spring. Like I look at this and I think maybe late summer, maybe fall, not spring though. If I'm feeling the dark colors though, I might go for this one maybe. Um, so always good to have some variety on your rack. Next up is a saturated purple from Different Dimension called Space Rainbows. This one's got kind of a mid-toned purple base. It's kind of like a grapey primary purple and then really pretty shifty iridescent flakes. This is actually supposed to be a thermal and it's supposed to transition to a light pastel pink. My bottle does not transition anymore, unfortunately, because I think I would, I know, because I've already worn it. I swatched it when it released, but I know I'd really like that effect. The pink to purple thermal transition is one of my favorites, um, but regardless, I think this color is pretty too, so I'm glad that it is going to be in this state. It's a pretty color. Another untried Bees Knees lacquer is... Monsters could be created but never tamed. This one has like a kind of pinky purple base and glowy shimmer that is mostly blue. It might shift to purple and lots of hollow flakes. I think it is a lion cousin or sibling. So here is what this one looks like built up and on the nail wheel it kind of has like a more like brownie pink feel which is interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was not expecting that. Next, we have another Nailed It. This one is called Rapper's Delight. This has a light, slightly pink-leaning purple base and tons of iridescent flakies. Look at that. They are so packed in there. This one actually released in their holiday advent calendar, which I really enjoyed. This color to me, though, does not say holidays. Like, I want to wear this 
this time of year. I love this kind of purple this time of year. Another potentially slightly summery pick comes from Stella Chroma and it's called You Enjoy Myself. This one has a pinky purple base and then just really fine, not sparse. Sparse sounds like not a good thing, but like sparse, but in the best way, um, iridescent flakes. Here's what it looks like built up and I don't know, like I'm so torn. I can't decide. Sometimes I want my flaky polishes to be jam packed like these nailed it, but sometimes I really like the like whimsy and like daintiness of the more scattered sparse flakes. Like I love this. It's such a pretty color too. It had a great formula as well. From KB Shimmer, we have RV there yet. This one's like a purpley blue kind of base color. And then it's got such super duper strong intense shifting shimmer. Like, are you seeing that? Red to copper to gold to green and then scattered flakes. This one has such an intense shimmer that like sometimes you can't even see the base color at all. <laughs> <laughs> which is why I probably should have put it with my blues. I really couldn't tell with all that shimmer. Um, but the hollow in this one, I remember when I swatched it, it's remarkable. Another Essie, lots of Essie on my rack this season too. Um, this one's Playdate. This one is a pink leaning mid-toned purple cream. I've heard lots of people rave about this color. It does look so flattering and fun. Like I said, I like these kind of mid-toned purples this time of year. So yeah, excited to get this iconic shade on. Next up, we have another polish. This one is called Esmeralda. So it has a soft pinky purple base with large particle shimmer that shifts copper to gold to green. And there's something kind of like hazy and mysterious about the shimmer in this one. Here's what it looks like built up. And this is the kind of shade I usually will go for in the springtime. It's just very light and ethereal and floral and almost pastel. Up next is another Essie. This one is Splash of Grenadine. This was actually one of the first Essies I remember having in my collection. Not this exact bottle, um, but I used to wear the heck out of Splash of Grenadine in college. Um, I had like a huge fill line. I wish I still had that original bottle, um, but I had to repurchase it because I loved it so much. Here's what it looks like built up. Mine has the skinny brush, but it still had a really nice formula. This next one is from Polish and it is Heartbeat on the High Line. It has a purple leaning pink base. We're getting kind of into the pinks now and gorgeous gold flakes. Yeah, I will never tire of this finish from Polish. It is beautifully done every single time. One I didn't realize was pretty similar to that last pick is KB Shimmer I'd Pick You. This one has a more pink leaning base and then flakes that look gold in some lightings, but green and copper and blue in others. You can see how it differs from the one I showed previously from Polish. Here's what that one looks like built up in a couple coats. And I think I do want to wear this at three coats when I wear it. Next up, we have a gorgeous bee's knees lacquer. This one is called Unmade. It has more of like a magenta kind of base, which I think this color is kind of trendy for the season. Ooh. <laughs> um, and then intense gold, intense gold, intense green to blue shifting shimmer. Um, however, this one is pretty sheer. So on the nail wheel, it does not look magenta. It just looks like a kind of deeper berry color. So pretty. I love this kind of shade. I realized I didn't have a whole lot of holographic or linear holographic, <laughs> lots of scattered hollow and yeah, um, but not a lot of linear holographic on my rack this season. So I had to add at least one. This one's from Penelope Luz and it is Odori. This one is a light pink linear holographic with a really striking blue shimmer. Oh my gosh, like how springy is that? I just, ooh, on a sunny day, yes. <laughs> This next one is from Anchor and Heart Lacquer and it is called Sweet Little Cookie. This one has a warmer pink base, mid-toned pink base with gold shimmer and gold holographic glitter. I don't always go for the warmer leaning pink bases, but this one with that gold shimmer, you guys know, I love a gold shimmer. This one is getting me. <laughs> This next one might be the pink cream of my dreams. I cannot wait to try it on and see. It comes from Essie and it is all dolled up. It's like a really beautiful, cool toned pink cream. And I went crazy with the Essie purchases last year. I've got a lot of them on my rack this season and pretty much all are untried. Here's what this one looks like built up and I'm just living for this color like 
part of me wants to wear that as a pedicure because perfect pedicure color, but like, I don't want to miss the chance to wear it on my nails either. Maybe I'll do both. Next is a Kathleen and Co. Two of those on my rack this season. And this one is called Frangapani. It's got a mid-toned pink base and then shimmer that is warm. It's like gold and copper. This is another one that kind of has like a hazy look a little bit to the shimmer. It's not quite as bold and attention grabbing as what I'm used to seeing from most indie polishes, but I might love it. From Wildflower Lacquer, we have Talk Furby to Me. This one's got a kind of purpley pink magenta e base and then gorgeous large particle shimmer that is blue and pink kind of looks purple in some lightings this one is so saturated and intense and i am all about it <laughs> um i've almost already worn this one too because i just love this color next we have one from pampered polishes and this one is called life is plastic it is a white curly base packed with hot pink micro glitter, hex glitters, and there are some star glitters in there. So here is what it looks like built up and I didn't even have to fish for that star glitter. I like was not sure that this had star glitters when I purchased it because I don't usually like fun shaped glitters, um, but I like kind of don't mind it in this base with the hot pink, like it's a, it's a vibe and I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> From Music City Beauty, we have nine to five. This one is like my classy pick. If I need a neutral or something kind of like more professional, which it seems like every spring I do need something like that, this is gonna be my go-to. It's a light but pretty saturated pink with holographic micro glitter and maybe some like pink flakes too. So here is what that one looks like. And isn't that just like the prettiest, softest, sweetest shade of pink? I love that. I loved wearing this too when I swatched it originally. This next one I have laid out to maybe be my next pedicure. It's from OPI and it is Mod About You. When I saw how amazing the formula was on this one, I was like, yep, you're gonna be a pedicure because for me, pedicure wise, the fewer the coats, the better. And this one was almost a one coater, which for a color like this is not always the situation. <laughs> Gorgeous formula and such a fun, light, happy spring color. One I'd love to wear from ILNP is Sweet Pea. This one is another well-loved polish in my collection. It has kind of a beigey, brown leaning pink base and lots and lots of scattered hollow. Here's what it looks like built up. And this one again is not the most springy pick, but it would be a great choice if I need something on the more neutral side. The last one I have from Morgan Taylor's spring collection is this shade called Tidy Touch. I don't like that name. <laughs> this one has a kind of rosy, mid-toned, warm leaning pink cream base. It actually dried down quite a bit darker on the swatch wheel than it did looks in the bottle. So I'm curious to see if that happens on my nails too. I don't love either of these colors, but I do prefer the lighter one because the darker one I feel like is getting kind of close to being more of a nude kind of shade on me. And I like a little bit of pop in the spring. And looping back around, since I'd already worn it, I forgot that I have this last shade from Morgan Taylor's Spring Collection called Very Berry Clean. Yeah, I'm very excited to share my swatches of this because it's the one in this collection I was most excited to wear and I loved wearing it. I paired it with a super fun topper. Um, but yeah, this one was a too easy to coater um, and just gorgeous color. Again, a little bit dark for what I wear in the spring, but hey, still beautiful. Back to pinks, we have another polish. This one is called The Bell Witch. This is a light pink with those gold flakes. I just can't get enough of. I've worn it before. I adored it last time. I want it on again. <laughs> we have a random no-name color club I got from their mystery bag. Uh, it has a sheer warm toned pink base with lots of different glitters. There are the little bar glitters or like satin bar glitters, hex glitters, micro glitters. It is something. <laughs> I still don't know how I'm gonna wear this because I won't wear it on its own. It's so sheer and jelly that I know I'm gonna see nail line and I don't like the, I don't like how that's gonna look. Um, but at the same time, the base is tinted. So if I wear it over something, it's gotta be probably a pink or something at least warmer. We'll see. The last pink on my rack is another Essie and it is Peak Show. Peak Show is a light, almost white pink cream. 
Here's what it looks like, and it had a fantastic formula, especially for a shade this light. And finishing up with a few whites because I love wearing white this time of year. Heck, any time of year. This one's Paradox Polish. Don't be an idiot. This one is a white, but it's like, I don't know, it's not like a pure white, but a white, some kind of white, <laughs> curly base with purple and red metallic flakes. Don't ask me why I put this on my spring rack, I do not know. It's a pretty, pretty curly though, I'd wear it anytime. Next we have another wildflower lacquer. This one is Chirp Off Chickadee. This one has a white base, beautiful shifting shimmer that shifts green to copper to gold, uh, mostly green and gold, actually no copper green, gold, and blue. Um, and it's got holographic flakes. Like, is that fairy-like or what? So, so glowy and pretty and light and ethereal. Just everything I want in the spring. This next shade from 90 Lacquer has been on so many racks. I've got to wear it this season. It's called Toyland. It has a white curly base and tons of rainbow, square glitters, micro glitter, and hex glitters. I do not know why it's taken me so long to get around to wearing this because it's another shade I could wear any time of year, but it's always picked last. <laughs> the next one you probably recognize because I'm wearing it. It's from KB Shimmer and it is Spring Theory. This one has a white base and lots of beautiful metallic micro glitter. One of my favorite finishes from this brand. Um, there's every color in here, but the green and gold catch my eye most for some reason. But I also see blue, purple, red. It's a fun mix. This one had a great formula. It did end up being a little bit more stark than I was anticipating, but I love it. And the final shade on my rack is another moon cat called Curiosity's Prey. This one has a white base, and then again, that kind of fun Easter grassy, flaky situation. Maybe a blue shimmer as well. Here's what it looks like built up, and yeah, those flakes just look pastel in that white base, don't they? So that's everything that is on my spring rack this season. It's a lot, but like I'm ready to get wearing them right now. It's like as I'm filming this, just about to be spring. So I am finishing up a few shades from my winter rack and just ready to dive head first into these beautiful bright colors. Let me know down in the comments if you've created a spring rack for this season, if you're excited to finally get to wear some brighter shades, I know I am, <laughs> and how you liked my picks that were on my nail polish rack. I wanna know everything. Don't don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye! <music>